guys how are y'all doing how's your day going i'm exhausted how is your night hope you have an amazing and a beautiful night rest um listen i think i'm very thirsty so it's been over a month oh my god and i have i've been writing exams basically so i haven't really been able to flow the gig and previous gigs have been a bit i don't know what happened but they were all messed up and i was just trying to you know fix all that and i decided to you know wait calm down and start uploading now so we are going to have from the beginning as if we have never done anything in python and we're going to have yeah we're just going to have some stuff in python but before i do get started i want to let you know that i have started fully uploading on my blog it's a kind of like a go-to for learning i mean there are projects that you can practice with currently it's mostly python basically python because you know why not but you can go there dark and um, projects you just you can try them out with whatever languages you use but if you are looking for the source code i only have a source code there on the site i am going to upload like something a comment session let's make interactive so everyone can upload their own but you can leave comments on the post but you can leave comments here yeah, that's that but let's get started with python so um by now i'm sure you already have python installed on your system if you don't i'm going to leave the um the link to where you can download it from but once you do download it, where do I even save it? Uh, and um, after that, you will just um, run it. Python will be installed on your system. The next thing you need to do is download your text editor. By now, we already know that the only text editor I use is Visual Studio Code. But PyCharm is also very good. So I'll leave the link to that also in the description. And uh, yeah, so the most basic thing we need to let me create a new folder. Let me just create a new folder on my desktop. The most basic thing every Python developer, uh, sorry, every developer runs on is um every the first code is your hello world program. So I'll just show you how the hello world program runs. So you can get a basic idea of how Python oh I don't know that of how the Python um structure looks. But Python is the structure for Python is actually very easy. So there isn't really anything for you to like want to look into it's not like C plus or C plus that you need to have like a a long list selected out before you can start writing anything so how a python file saves you save a python with the extension dot py so let's just um, use this one as our what you name it I, so like i said there's no basic structure to um python but um let's just print hello world it's very straightforward to print in python you just run the print statement so if you are printing a variable let's say we're printing a variable called var go we'll just type in var but if you want to print in string you need to index it to either these two stuffs or the one that is like double inverted she's inverted commas they call it and let's print hello world save it and um let's run it Okay, if you are running from your command prompt, although now literally almost all text editor runs directly, but if you're running from your command prompt and you want to run a Python program, you shit, I'm not running Python program for, for a long time now. Um, oh my god. <laughs> okay, I think it's um, Python, like the name of the file. File one, file one dot py. Yeah, I still remember how to run in Python. That's it. So yeah, we run our very first program. Congratulations. So um, 
let's just let's jump into it i guess let's cover operators i'm sure everybody already knows what operators are there are different types of operators we have spoken about the uh, arithmetic operators where you have plus i'll pull up a chart here so you can see so i'm just going to be briefly you treat you have um plus partition you have a steric for multiplication you have that um is it backslash or forward slash that should be backslash a single backslash for division i think that one has remained as double backslash is a division but doesn't um, give out a float it gives out a uh, it gives out a an integer you have um the percentage sign which is the modular division which gives the remainder and um you have the dash normal subtraction sign for subtractions which one you have i think double asterisks for um exponentiation and that's that that everyone yes yeah, so. i'll pull up that so you can see it next um data types i've already called out some of data types for you we have integers the integers are used to take whole numbers we have floats those takes fractions or decimal numbers you have strings which takes a collection of characters you have characters which are singular letters but i don't think we really use characters character is not a data type in um in python it's just floats integers strings yeah those are all the data types in um in python okay um what else yeah this is really going to be very quick so um let's just take a quick um practicalization of it so i'm going to just pick out a program let me just let's go to let's use solo learn so let's go and answer all the problems that they have if you want to see them if you want to see them i would leave the link to my um blog where I've of them so they are just basically for the first one is called time is precious so we said ever wondered how many seconds there are in a month that is if the month is 30 days write a program to calculate an output for the answer so i'm sure you already know the basic formula that whole month date time or whatever so what i want to do is we have our input for days they said in the month we have 30 days right we have um, hours, so 24 hours makes one day. So um, if you use your whole mathematical formula and everything, it's going to be 30 times 24. Remember how we multiply exponentiation, it's going to give us 24. You have um, minutes, 60 hours, 60 minutes make one hour. So our minutes is going to be equal to 60 times hours. We have um, seconds, 60 seconds make one minute. And now we just print out seconds, because seconds is the final calculation. Do you remember how to print? You have your print and we are printing out a variable. So since I don't have variable, I'm not going to use that in vector format. Instead, we just call the variable.